I'm going to show you how to trigger a VRA subscription by destroying a machine. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Watchers from Vavork. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about automating, programming, and monitoring in VMware environments, you're in the right place. Start now by subscribing and click the bell so that you don't miss a thing. Welcome back. Now that we've gotten a handle on how these event subscriptions work in VRealize Automation 8, this last subscription here, which is the one that's going to trigger when a machine gets destroyed, should be pretty straightforward to understand. So let's go take a look at this in the lab environment. Once again, we're in the lab environment. We're logged into VRealize Automation Cloud Assembly. We're on the Deployments tab, and we're taking a look at our deployment. In the last video, we powered off the deployment, which caused one of our subscriptions to trigger. And now what we're going to do is go to the Actions menu and choose to actually delete this deployment. We're going to destroy it. And that represents the end of the life cycle of the machine and the, and the, the blueprint in the deployment itself. But for us, this is yet another time when we can call out to orchestrator workflows. So we've created a subscription in VRA that's going to kick off an orchestrator workflow, the same workflow that we've seen in the previous videos. But this time, it's going to occur in response to the destruction of the deployment and the machine that's within it. So let's click Delete and go see what happens. So Submit. And now that that's running here in VRise Automation, if we go over to Orchestrator, and we go to the workflow runs, you'll notice that currently we still have the three workflow runs that we saw before. So we have the pre-provision workflow, the post-provision event workflow, the deployment day to action workflow run, and a new workflow run. This workflow run is again, the exact same workflow running uh, we don't have to always call the same workflow. I have just set up this example this way, but once again, the workflow is run. And this time, if we go look at this latest workflow run, and once again, go to the variables tab. In the variables tab, uh, we can once again see things such as the event that triggered. And additionally, we can see all the other metadata info. Plus, we have the input properties variable that got passed in with loads of other information that we can go look at, including custom properties. Again, as a little caveat on the day two operations uh, events, those do not have custom properties, but provisioning and removal events do cause VRA to pass you the custom properties information. If you'd like to know more about VRealize Automation 8, let me know what you'd like to learn in the YouTube comments below.